Bienvenidos! So, of course I just dropped Janine off. I'm just saying that because it's nighttime. It's about, um, this is one thing I dislike about my bike is there's no clock. And I keep forgetting to buy, I mean, even just buy a simple digital, even analog watch that would maybe glow in the dark or something. Uh, but I just keep forgetting. It's probably about six, I would say. Um, so, I did a little bit of toot. I'm riding my bike right now, the, the Tiger bike. I'm sure you can hear it. It's a huge difference uh, from Janine's bike. But I'm riding the Tiger bike right now, my bike. And, well, how's it running? It's running pretty well. Uh, well, the last, the last time, the last video I did, I think, I don't even know if I wrote it. Uh, this is a beast right now. <laughs> this is a freaking beast. So I was having trouble with my bike before and well it turns out that I had I had, I had been running it really rich actually but it didn't have to do with the new jets that I put in because it was actually having the same problems before and I was trying to figure out like I had it running well for a period of time and I was just like what what did I do different and you know what I did different was I tuned the pilots prior to getting the other jets installed. I tuned the pilots actually the opposite of what I thought it was doing. I thought I was re enriching it, enriching it, and I was actually leaning it out. And I rode it around a little bit, and then it came to me, and I was like, uh, I turned it the wrong way, and I actually leaned it out. But at that point, when I had it very lean, well, not very lean, but it leaner than it was, it would start right up, and no hesitation at all at any points in the throttle. So, uh, I don't know if you, you would call me stupid or what, but, so out of nowhere, I think I was just like, you know, I, well, I don't know if anyone else is like it, but when I try to go to sleep, my mind just is on an adventure to just keep me up, and I just think about everything, and at this particular time, I was just like, I was, at this point, I was just like, you know what, I do remember the bike running nice, and I do remember what exactly I did to get it to run nice. So right now, actually yesterday, and a few days before that, I had, I had actually set it back to stock instead of... I had a, the, the pilot screws, it's four, it's four cards. So I had the pilot screws at three and a quarter, turns out. And that controls the fuel, not, not air, controls the fuel. And so a few days uh, after all that trouble, I was having trouble with it. I mean, it would be a pain in the ass to start. And I was like, I was just messing around with the choke and I noticed that it would just die if I do the choke. Not even a full choke, just like a partial choke and it would just start to die. I'm like, um, these carbs are retarded, <laughs> no, but, I mean, it, I thought about it, I'm like, man, I must be getting too much fuel. So, I ended up turning it in, well, I actually turned it back to stock, which is 2.5 turns, 2.5 turns out, and it, it ran okay, not, actually, it didn't run really okay at all, but it ran better than it did at three turns, about well, three and a quarter. So I turned it in, got it to two. Oh, that's another story. <laughs> so, I'm all riding in a high gear. So, well, a few days ago was election day, well, a day to vote. So I took Janine to, I actually did the early ballot. Janine got the early ballot, but I mean, she just procrastinated so much and didn't end up even doing it. And she really wanted to vote, so I took her to her selected polling area. And I didn't know how long it was gonna take, so I was just outside waiting. And so I thought, well, before that, I thought it'd take maybe a, maybe a little bit. I, I never really dealt with like a voting poll. I've never really, I don't really know how it all works. And I wasn't sure if there'd be a lot of people. I wasn't sure how long it'd take. So, damn it. Was this guy trying to be like Jesus? Freaking bright ass light. <laughs> there we go. So I dropped her off. I actually brought some tools along with me. And I took this bike, my bike. Well, it's funny because I actually forgot. 
I forgot the the main like the conversion socket or the conversion bit because I have a huge wrench socket wrench and I forgot the conversion to match it up to the smaller sockets which would take off my my plastics I don't know if you'd actually call them plastics they're kind of like fiberglass they're pretty heavy they're not like modern plastics for a motorcycle like Janine's bike so like that, these are heavy. Like I could, I could probably knock someone out with my my, my motorcycle plastics. These are heavy. I could probably kill someone with these. But anyway, so I forgot those, so I didn't have a way to take completely take off my side fairings. I just had the I had a screwdriver and the okay, I think it was a nine a nine millimeter socket screwdriver too. I don't know why, but I don't have the original screws screws for the for the first screw on my fairings. So I just have like a it's a flat head and a, a nine millimeter socket. Anyway, so I took the first bolt off and luckily I was able to get to the the pilots from there. Yeah I mean as you can see the bike's running nice. No hesitation, no bogging at all or anything. I'm pretty sure I could tune it. I could probably tune it back in one more turn, well half a turn for all the carbs and probably do even better. But so far I haven't noticed anything weird. Anyway, so I brought, actually I bought a, a really, really uh, convenient tool from, I don't, I don't, like I don't really buy many tools from Harbor Freight, but there are some things that I will buy there, and some things that, I mean, you can't really go wrong, only with certain things. You won't want to buy like a hammer there, or something that you're going to be doing hard ass work with. But I ended up buying like this insanely long screwdriver set. So it was a, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead. And it, it's like, it, it is long. I think it was like three feet. It's the longest, screw, it's the longest screwdriver set that I've ever seen. So that ended up, well the flathead at least, that, that flathead ended up being a lifesaver for me. Because for me, those pilots are a bitch to reach. Unless you have like small hands maybe. But I just filed down the flathead just so that it'd be the perfect size for the pilot screws. And that, it gets the job done quick. I mean, I could I could tune my pilots in maybe five minutes with that screwdriver. It's awesome. So yeah, I did that. <laughs> I wasn't even going anywhere with the story, but uh, I mean, I kind of just got sidetracked. So anyway, when Janine was voting, I, I tuned it down to two turns. So two turns out, I turned it back in one. The default for this bike is two and a half turns out. I turned it in one more turn to lean it out a little bit. It was pretty quick. About that time is when Janine came back out. She was in, she was like in and out. Well, she actually did the early ballot and I didn't know, I didn't really know how it worked. So I told her to just write down the names of the people she's voting for or whatever. And then just put it in on the new ballot. I didn't know that you could actually bring in the early ballot. And they were saying that she could have. Anyway, she did that. She came out. I finished. I was about to put the shit back together, but I wanted to test it just to make sure that it wasn't too lean and it actually run. So I started up and I gave it a quick like, like, like that. And I mean, not even that hard, just like that. And this is an old man. Oh, so yeah, I didn't even tell where we were. Like the pulling area that we were at was like some trailer park people place, I don't know. So I do that, I just give it a quick blip, just to make sure that it's not gonna die on me. I mean, I didn't rev it, like rev limit it. I went, I probably went like, like 1500 RPM. I was just like, maybe not even that hard. And this old man, he's like sweeping the freaking sidewalk. He's like, he starts like doing some gestures and shit. I thought he was like, yeah, rev it harder or something. I thought he was like maybe Max Revit or something. But it looked like he was all butter or something. So I turned the engine off and he starts going, oh, you don't, don't do that here. And so I don't remember what the hell. He's like yelling out some bullshit. And I'm like, what the f And I'm just like, okay, well, first off, 
How am I going to start my engine if you don't want to hear that? All I did was start it, you stupid ass. But of course I didn't cuss because it was like a, probably like a 65 year old man. And I, I don't really cuss in, in person anyway. It really depends on where I'm at. It really depends on who I'm talking to. But it was an old man. Uh, so I was just like, so how do you suppose I'm gonna get out of here if it's too loud for you? And he's just like, well, you can push it down the road and start it down there. And I was just like, no, I'm not gonna go out of my way to get out of here. You know, I'm just trying to go ranting right now. I'm already getting pissed off because this guy just pissed me off so much. Damn, smells good. Smells some corn tortillas. So this guy, he says that, I say that, and then I'm just putting my, I'm putting the screws back, that first screw back on the side fairings, and I'm just like, ooh, just wait, just wait, I'm gonna rip the f*** out of this. <laughs> So Janine gets on, I'm just like really pissed off because all I did was start the bike and I just went like, literally, that's it. This guy is just being a f***ing asshole. Yeah, so I started up, runs good, it's running a lot better than before, I mean, because I did lean it out, and <laughs> so the whole, the whole way out, I just rev limited, well not rev limited, I probably went about 1100, 1100 RPM. <laughs> And just kind of held the clutch in a little bit so that I wouldn't like just take off. <laughs> um, anyway, so yesterday I turned the pilots in one more half turn. So I'm at one and a half turns out now. We're gonna see how that goes. Hopefully it goes good. 